Alright guys, Hatch back again today. I hope you're doing better and enjoying your day so far. And after lots of chirping over the last few days between Shotzi and Scrappy, Scrap then went next level last night and called out Shotzi for some of his playmaking and saying that the way that he plays is costing his team on many occasions more TikTok clips than actually holding irons and getting kills when it is necessary. What do you guys think about this in the comment section below? Shotzi then fires back at Scrappy over a classic insult that's been going around for some time. Hit the like button if you enjoy. Subscribe if you're new as always. I would greatly appreciate it. As I say, plenty to dive into. Firstly though, a couple of updates on the game. This was spotted yesterday in a new update where players will get outlined in blue. This is, um, it's like a thing in Valorant where the enemies kind of have like a red outline on them and sure it might be a bit goofy and a bit arcadey but it does kind of help because in this game knowing who your teammates are and who the enemies are and actually spotting them seems more difficult than you might otherwise expect. I think the colours don't exactly help either. You guys can see here on Nameless's stream. He has cranked up the saturation to the absolute maximum so you know Terminal looks pretty good but you can tell that I mean he also nades himself here. So this is another one of these things. To be fair this happens on like every game but he chucked a nade through here and it just kills him through the floor. So yeah classic stuff. Always a good time. But but I think sometimes seeing the enemies can be a bit of a challenge with the you know the colors in the game and hopefully they can find some good solutions to that over time as well. There's also been some talk from the league officially on what counts as a rookie and who are the rookies this year. So over the last few years, Simp, Shotzi, you know, Insight was at least on breaking point. He was a top five player in Car War. I think Reddit ranked him as top five as well, fifth, sixth, something like that. Pred, Scrappy, over the last several years, there's pretty much always been a player that's been considered top five-ish. There's a few options this year. Estriel is potentially another one if he joins Los Angeles Grillers. Abuza, Linz, Real, Gwyn, Eric, Boom, Purge. And then also Snoopy is definitely worthy of consideration because he is, according to the league, Spinner Spence comes out and says he will be considered a rookie again. Apparently, the rule is that they've clarified that if you play more than three matches in a season, you are no longer a rookie. I guess they have to have a cutoff at some point. It feels um, kind of interesting, the fact that he played three matches at champs. So that's not more than three. So um, that means that, yeah, he is counted as a rookie for the upcoming season because he didn't play more than three games. But if Snoopy had have made it deeper at the tournament, at the World Championship, let's say they won that final series where they went out of the tournament of, like um, he would not be considered a rookie anymore because he played four series. But that doesn't really feel fair, you know what I mean? Like, he came top six or whatever at champs, and if he'd have come top four, then he wouldn't have been a rookie, but top six, he is a rookie for this year. I don't know. It's, um, it's a marginal rule, whatever. The point is that he's a rookie for the upcoming season, technically, but I guess now they've clarified this for future seasons. We will also have to be beholden to this, unless, of course, the CDL no longer exists, which is very much also possible in the coming years. Some talk on GAs as well. Like, I just want to go full screen on this from BZ, because, to be honest, from what I've used to the rival, I really like this gun. I have a good time using it. I know people say that it's not so good compared to the ARs, which is true, but um, it's still a good weapon, and a BZ is making it clear that... I mean, like, this five feet is pretty disgusting, to be honest. This gun can be used very effectively, even though a lot of SMG players, including Abizi, are out there fighting for their lives against the ARs. They just like, look, don't use it. Tune it down for a couple of days or a couple of weeks so we don't get this sub G8 because we need the rival to be competitive and Abizi is certainly making it look that way. Speaking of GAs, though, this from Adam Killer Sloss. So, Sloss... Esports royalty in the Call of Duty world, the inaugural Call of Duty world champion back in 2013, legendary player in the scene. He comes out and says, is everyone still banning and GAing everything? If so, thank God I quit. Thank gosh I quit, of course, you know, not to blaspheme. So then, for some reason, Sib in the replies comes out and, and starts roasting Keller, which is like... Okay, maybe Sib has a point here if you can actually decipher what he's trying to say, but I just don't really understand why, like, it's kind of... I don't know. People have a lot of respect for Killer in the scene, and very good reason. You don't often see new gen players coming out and roasting the old guards that helped build this scene into what it is. And, you know, he's a world champion, Killer, let's not forget. And there's one more event than Sib has in his career. Usually, there's a lot of respect from the current players to those guys. Not always the case, though. And uh, Sib comes out and says, You would be getting gunned by the new generation if you knew how the new CODs were. You'd be retired later than sooner. Now, I don't really know what he means by this last part, like does he mean sooner rather than later or does he mean that if you didn't retire when you did, then 
we'd have retired you now because you'd be getting slammed on the new games. I don't really know, but um, like clearly Siv was kind of frustrated with Killer's perspective on everyone banning and geeing everything is a bad idea. Sib clearly thinks that the decisions they're making are good ones. And then as he goes on to say, he is a legend, but with a bad take. But um, so, okay, fair enough. But it's just funny to me, like, you don't often see players chirping back at some of the OGs like Killer. And then, uh, well, Sib decides to and kind of gets roasted for doing so, to be honest. We've got to talk about this Shotzi versus Scrappy drama because it all goes down over the last couple of days. There's been multiple clips even of Shotzi roasting Scrap a few days ago. And now Scrap got a good chance to get his own back, it seems. So um, there were some funny clips, of course. And look, Shotzi's point of view when he's on form is just... He's the best streamer to watch, you know what I mean? Like, just the way that he plays the game is spectacular. But it's got to be said, sometimes it doesn't always work out in his favour. Maybe he'll make a play that, um, you know, will throw away his life or something like that. And Scrappy talks about such an example in just a couple of minutes' time. Now, Shotzi even the other day was roasting Scrap for, like, the long neck thing. Which, um, you know, Shotzi's been all over this for the last couple of days. And even doubles down on it after he gets this kill on Scrappy. And then Scrappy has something to say about it. So this goes to show it's kind of like the best and worst of shots. You know what I mean? He gets this first kill and then he knows kind of where Scrappy is. Flies off the top rope and chow this guy. I mean, the centering here is unbelievable. To actually like get the centering perfect and kill Scrappy in the way that he did and get away... Very impressive stuff. When Shotzi's on four, but like that's how it goes. But they still, to be fair, went on to lose this map. But I'm guessing there were eight or something because Dashi was on the other team. And Scrappy was getting pretty heated over this kill and saying, look, Shotzi, just because you're on low ping, you can get away with that on LAN or whatever, or on my host, that's not going to happen and you're going to get exposed for it. So then Ben J the C went on to ask him like, hey, you know, what do you guys think about the way that Shotzi plays? And Scrappy says, yeah, he could do better than he is. He's a godlike player. He's very talented, but the way that he plays is is not optimal in terms of winning. He should focus on making more winning plays instead of going for TikTok clips. Going on to share a story where they were 4-1 down in a search and destroy game against Shotzi and co. And then Shotzi made a play, threw away his life, trying to extend the advantage. Then they came back and won the map. So, you know, does Scrappy have a point here? What do you guys think? Three, guar three things are guaranteed in life. Death, taxes, and Scrappy's long ass neck. Yeah, he's third. Yeah, he's third. I think he's back. I'm gonna go with Brandon. I'm gonna go. Nice, I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'm If you keep doing this goofy ass shit against me on your host, bro. I'm well, gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> yo, can you hit, yo, can you hit a bullet scrap? Like, how about, yo. You're still losing. Yo, how do I WWE star you, dude? Yo, 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 yo. Did you hit a bullet? Did you hit? Ping check, ping check. Ping check. Let me see. Let me see here. Yeah, go peep those pings when you get in the next map, you dumb. Uh, well, yeah, you didn't hit a bullet though, huh? Uh, <laughs> buddy, Chilling bro, he got WWE Red Mysterio six one nine off the yeah. top rope. Like, they probably just spawned like on the ladder. Long the neck. Ladder. Yo, that that head glitch is not a head glitch, like, buddy. With your long ass like, neck, bro. Ask Crabby what he thinks about Shotzi. What do you think about Ant? Ant? That guy loves TikToks. I think that's the, what's limiting his consistency oh, a little bit. For sure. You yeah. think he loves TikTok? Yeah. I mean, even when you do. He, he plays too flashy? Yeah, like, bro, we're, I'm like, bro, you see how I play? My gun's up all the time. I'm not trying to go 360s off a building. <laughs> mm. Bro, if you, look at my, if you look at my pop, I'm the like, most basic. Like, bro, I don't have any crazy ass. Like, bro, yeah, somebody I don't said W Tiff talk. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> dude. I mean, Tiff, Tiff. Tiff be doing it. I, I, I Tiff's agree. Tiff's the goat. Tiff's the I don't goat. think what you're saying is off base, though. I think that definitely he's got to work on simplifying things sometimes and stop doing too much. Alright, you guys good? Yeah. I mean, he's gonna have he's gonna have to do it. Sachi is horrible, bro. I'm not saying that. Ant is still god. And still a godlike player. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you do but too many stepovers. You he know? can definitely make some more winning plays. That's all I'll say. Sometimes you do too many Anthony. Like plays. I'm not gonna lie. I'll tell you right now. The f uh, the Microphone. The finals nah, yeah, that we played him in, brother, like that S and D kind of threw. Microphone. He banged activated. out the back door, gave us a free blood, then we retake, we win. That's four one, or four, yeah, it was something like that. Four two. Next thing, I three piece him. That's four three, and we're already back. It's four three now. Like, bro, people don't understand that one round, like, will fumble everything. Oh yeah, whole momentum goes, bro. 
Oh shit. Uh, 100%. Like, they were up what? They were up 4 1. Like, bro, I already know what he's thinking. He's like, oh, we're shitting on him. Like, I'm trying to, like, they're trying to end this shit now. So he's going to fly out and try to get, like, one or two and, like, check us out. They gave you guys the mo and then you guys took advantage from there. So I think, I think Shotzi's bar is just, like, insane, though. Like, yeah, yeah, of course. His, his no, you... ceiling is literally, like, ap like incredible, bro. Of course. There's he... just some play. Like, bro, he can make way smarter plays that will, like, like that can like kind of just wrap everything together and like make it like the ultimate like map right. and then like there's one thing that like you do and it scams the whole map like bro cod is so like bro you can get chained on hills back to back to back like bro two hills is 120 points that's half the game mm -hmm. so to be honest this is a point that even the likes of crim six has mentioned before and said to shotzi in previous years i think even when he teamed with shotzi when he was on dallas empire shotzi didn't have such a tendency to do this. I think that Crim6 believed that since joining Optic and streaming and um, being like, you know, the number one movement pro and all this stuff and getting all the great clips, there is a tendency for Shotzi to play in that way. And sure, that's fine when you're playing ranked or you're playing eights or whatever. But when it comes to playing you know, matches for money and in the CDL, you want to be a little bit more disciplined. And we see, you know, a couple of times this most recent season, them getting costed for undisciplined plays. And Shotzi definitely falls into the category of being, you know, more undisciplined than disciplined, you gotta say. And Krim made the point even recently that, look, he would tell Shotzi and phone him up and say, look, get the seconds, but don't go for the third, you know, get the first kill, fly out and try and get the second, but then after that, don't go for the third, maintain your life. And um, that is the key to success. Whereas when you watch Shotzi play at the moment, you might see that he gets the first, gets the second, and then he goes for the third. And um, well, that doesn't always work out in his favor. So it's not all the time, obviously, but there are a few moments where this can occur and how that's gonna work with Pred is a bit of a question. Is Scrappy wrong in his overall analysis? I don't necessarily think so. Or is Scrappy just salty that he got absolutely slammed on that kill on Karachi and therefore like you know he's going off on the main stage about this so what do you guys think of the comments below because Scrap said himself that he's not always a perfect player sometimes he throws away his life and everyone makes mistakes and you know over peaks and stuff like this but because Shotzi's so good and he can make these crazy plays there's probably a tendency for him to at the same time, though, you don't want to put Shotzi on a leash because when you do that and you say, look, Shotzi, never make these plays ever again, you kind of limit what makes him great. And those maps and moments where Shotzi single-handedly wins you the game in the series are because he has these things in his locker. So, you know, maybe naturally Shotzi is going to do that. And then sometimes you're just going to have to accept that Shotzi's going to make mistakes and throw away his life sometimes. That's going to cost you in big moments. But um, without one, maybe you don't get the other. So definitely interesting debate. I wonder what Karma thinks on this. I wonder what, you know, the coaches of Optic think about this as well. Because, um, you know, I, I didn't take me long, to be honest, to turn on here and, you know, find a clip of Shotzi saying, say hi to TikTok and going for clips with the sniper. And this is all great fun. But, um, you know, it's like you know, not something you could really utilize in a competitive setting all of the time. Just before we finish out, wanted to mention that BPL starts today. So effectively face it rank S for Call of Duty, as it were, all the pros, top guys in there, and they'll be playing, it's effectively like eight series, but there's money on the line, there's ELO rating, all this good stuff. This image I thought was fantastically well put together. We've got Clay, we've got Slasho, Envoy, Hydra's on the left-hand side, although he might be slightly cut off. And then we've got Donnie in the background too with his merch on looking um ready to go for bpl which is going to run for a couple of weeks so yeah tune into the streams i'm sure people will be at it over the next couple of days so very much enjoy to your thoughts in the comment section below hit the like button if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new take care and i'll see you next time